Hey guys, Casey from Jetty USA here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a range and servo test on your Jetty duplex transmitter. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the main menu, down to system, and down to servo and range test. Now the first thing that will pop up will be your range test. What this allows you to do is um, test how strong your transmitter signal is. So, in order to do this, you want to go ahead and activate it. You're going to hear a noise. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down so that it doesn't interfere with the video here. Um, you're going to want to have your model about two to three feet off the ground, and you're going to walk away about 50 to 100 yards. Make sure that you actually face your model as if you would while it was in the sky, or else it's not going to be that accurate. Um, from here, what you'll see is the signal strength for both antennas from a 0 to a 9. Um, 0 being low and 9 being the highest you can go. Uh, this will kind of allow you to approximate the distance that you have will be about 10 to 20 times greater when you're actually flying. Um, but you can see if you have any interference with your antennas or anything that is actually lowering your signal strength. Um, when you're done, you just hit out of that, and you can see the X stops it. Um, and then you can go down to your servo speed. Now what this allows you to do is actually um, change the speed that it'll take from your servo to go from one end point to the other. So you can put it below one second, you can go above one second, whatever you want it at. We're going to go ahead and leave it at one second. Down here, you have your channels 1 through 16. So this is where you can actually tell it which servos you want to test. So we have two servos that are right here, and they're set up in channels 1 and 2. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on channel input 1 and channel input 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button, and you can see our servos start moving. When you're done, you hit stop. You can also do just one at a time. You can see channel one is moving right now. Now I'm going to stop it and restart it. Now you can see channel two is moving. And that's basically how you do your range test and your servo test. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us either via email or telephone. Um, you can also get all our contact information off our websites at jettyusa.com or aspreemodel.com. Thanks for watching.